ambient light has been used to illuminate the environment around television sets. It is said to enhance visual comfort, reduce fatigue, and create a subjective enlargement of the perceived screen. Several workplaces use large interactive surfaces. Would it be possible to use ambient light to support and enhance how people work with this technology? The use of ambient light was evaluated in comparison to on-screen notifications. Three distinct working scenarios were considered. Focused work, close to the board, Tasks that required overview, distant from the board. And focused work on an external device, distant from the board. Participants were asked to report notifications they saw while completing the primary task. This chart illustrates the percentage of static notifications that were perceived in each scenario. We can see that perception rates were higher for ambient light notifications, marked in yellow, in the distant overview and distant focused scenarios. In another experiment, we tested the utility of ambient light to indicate the location of off-screen objects. The participants had to search for notes on the virtual canvas that were displayed on a tablet screen. Besides the baseline condition without visualization, we implemented well-known techniques such as Halo and Wedge and compared them to two ambient light conditions. Ambient light glowworm uses brightness to indicate ranking based on distance, while ambient light firefly encodes distance by altering the size of the notification. The ambient light conditions perform equally well to the on-screen visualizations. However, measures indicate a significantly lower task load as well as significantly lower frustration levels of ambient light firefly compared to Halo and Wedge. In 2D virtual workspaces, it is easy to lose awareness of off-screen objects. Off-screen visualizations, as presented in the second experiment, can be used to help users keep track of and navigate towards important content. Ambient light can also be used for notification purposes. In an emergency response application, blinking ambient lights can quickly capture the attention of operators. It is possible to represent remote users using ambient light. This can facilitate collaboration between people in distinct work locations. Ambient light can also be used to bridge real space with virtual space. A light indicating the location of a remote device acts as a portal to transfer content. An ambient light visualization serves as a timer in the background. As users require feedback close to them, the progress indication starts at multiple spots. This is how ambient light can be used in combination with large interactive surfaces.